All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. And trust me, Ren and Stippy and Pattern Test Man and Login TV are back there. So say hello to them. I got two packages to unbox. We're going to pull these back out of the way so you can see what's going on. Uh, but yeah, oh, Pattern Test Man down. All right, we got to fix that. But guys, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel for sure. Really glad you are here. And uh, let's get started. So let's go with this big box first. This one comes from SMKW, and it's from super loyal viewer Tim B. Uh, you guys see Tim if you're on my videos or on my in my live stream, KF Live. Uh, you will see Tim in there. By the way, I'm using my uh, unboxing knife from Keith the Knife Freak here, which, by the way, I have not sharpened yet, and it is still as sharp as it can be, of course, if I actually cut along the open part of the box. All right. So I'm going to put stuff out here, guys, and uh, then we can go over it. So here's the first piece, uh, the second piece, oh, man, the third piece, and the fourth piece. Now, Tim sent these, uh, in his words, uh, for giveaways or fun or family or whatever, so... We're, I'm just going to unbox them today, and then I will figure out. But, guys, look, I got Gorilla Set Six Knives to give away, and I know Andrew Hobbert is sending some to give away. And now here's Tim. You guys are so kind, and uh, it helps the channel so, so much. Very, very excited. So let's get into it and see what we have here. So uh, first things first, and I don't know if I'm going to open this or I'm going to – I think I'm going to leave this – uh, so that the person that gets it gets it brand new. But this is uh, the survival pocket knife. Now, if I go into this little zoom in, you can see you've got uh, this end part that comes off. And you've got the knife. And then what looks like a fire striker, a ferro rod. Yep, ferro rod. And uh, let's see what else. All right, here we go. Uh, it has a belt clip. I'm trying to find a list. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, so it is... Stainless steel, black oxide coating, lock for the knife, pocket or money clip bottle opener, uh, multi-wrench, lanyard hole, uh, fire starter, and a whistle all in one. That is cool. It's from Schrade. Uh, and Tim, that'll make a great add-on give giveaway item. So thank you. All right. Then we have, by the way, guys, don't go away. I've got another unboxing to do here at the end of this. Uh, so this is an Uncle Henry. Uh, number 11. So let's uh, go over here and cut it and get this guy open and see what we've got. I think, oh yeah, look, look that's really cool. It comes in the uh, brown paper here, like wax paper. Okay, that's, I think this is the one with the stagalon or whatever it is. Uh, handle material, you've got the uncle, oh, that's a canoe. It is a really good looking canoe. Look at that. Uh, so you've got a uh, really cool uh, uh, spear point blade there, or is that a drop point? That's a spear point, and no, that's a drop point, and this is a spear point. Okay, anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, and this says Shrade, Uncle Henry. Does it say Shrade? Yep, Shrade and Uncle Henry, uh, and the uh, number, which is 11UH. Very cool. Look at that, guys. It is a slip joint. No, uh, no half stops, but man, that is a good looking knife and a good feel in the hand uh very very cool thank you tim so that's number two i'm not going to put it right back in the box i want to leave it where i can show it off here in a minute and then it looks like we have two fixed blades this one's from smith and wesson again a little bit of cutting to be done here to open the box this is the sw993 okay this is pretty sweet dang Tim picked these out, guys, and I think it's really cool uh, to see viewers get involved, not just in, in donating stuff, but picking stuff uh, that I can give away. So I think this is a neck knife because you got this nice uh, uh, chain to go around your neck, and then you've got this really cool blade, a uh, nice big long drop point with a plastic handle here uh, that is molded to fit your hand. Caution for user and bystanders. Uh, users can result in the eye or other. What? Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to leave that on there because, like I said, I'm probably going to give it away. Uh, and so there is the Smith & Wesson 
and the model number there on there nice fit in the hand and good tight fit in this plastic sheath listen yeah really good and you could put that on a tech lock if you wanted or you could hang it around your neck so we're going to leave that one here where you can see it as well let's push this over here put that there and let's see what this big old shred is here uh so and again another uh one to give away here hopefully oh yeah okay so this is sweet so Holy cow, this comes with everything. Um, so you got what looks like a belt clip here. Uh, yeah, that's like a, a screw-on belt clip. And then you've got these uh, like straps. Uh, I'm not sure I'd have to. It's a water wrap, water rat, and it has an instruction sheet. So I would have to read on that to see exactly what you do. I don't know if you strap that maybe around your leg or... Or maybe that's what it is. So you've got this super cool looking uh, deal here. Now, let's see. I think you probably push this button maybe to get it out. No. Oh, come on, Casey. You can figure this out. You're not dumb. Okay. Yeah, I just pushed the button. I just did. Okay. All right. So it's like a water rescue or a water, uh, you know, it's got this rubberized handle, serrated blade down there. You can see that. And a saw blade at the top. And it is sharpened up there, and it has like a chisel or a um, pry tool there and sharpened down. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, feels good in the hand. Really, really awesome. That is the WR3, Water Rat 3. Uh, and it also has, uh, well, I don't know what that is. Is it sharpened? Uh, I don't know if that's a pry tool or a bottle opener or what that is, guys. Somebody tell me in the comments what that is, but it's made by Schrade. And again, the retention on this is pretty, I mean, it is not coming out. There is no chance that's coming out. So we're going to put that there, that there, put this guy where you can see it, and that there. And yes, I've got a big mess here. Now this was in that, and this was in this. All right. Trying to keep everything together here. So really really cool and i gotta leave room for one more thing because i got another package to open now if you guys have been with the channel long enough you might know uh what a package like this means does anybody know if you know what's in this package i get these packages quite often and it's when something is about to happen and and so if you know what it is put it down in the comments while i'm cutting it open pause the video because i'm about to show it because i know exactly what this is um, well, I didn't know exactly what it is, but I do know what part of it is, and there's other stuff. So, very, very cool. So, first things first, uh, our friends at Finch Knives have sent me another one of these really cool pouches. And if you guessed Finch, uh, you were correct. Uh, so, these pouches, guys, if you have not seen these, they are available on Finch's website, and they are very reasonable. I have one of these. I will probably end up giving this one away. Uh, I don't know when, so just be standing by with all the giveaways we're doing because uh, I have one, so this one will be a giveaway. So we will put that out here where you can see it, and then we will see what's in this box. What do you guys think is in this box? Here we go. You ready? Oh, nothing. Oh, they didn't put it. There's no sticker on this one yet. Okay, fine. But I know what it is. Do you guys know what it is? Because I know what it is. Oh, good grief. I'm dropping stuff on the floor. So first things first, I'll drop it on the floor a second time. You have a Finch, a flipping the Finch sticker here. We'll put that right there. You have the Finch warranty card. You have a Band-Aid. <coughs> Boy, this must be a, a, an early version. Or I, Oh, I did drop it. Okay, I was going to say, I, I can't believe something's missing. Here we go, guys. This is what this is. It is the Model 1934 Finch Knife Company established 2018. Very, very cool. I love that logo. Now, if you guys know me well enough, there's three versions. <coughs> Excuse me. There's three versions of this knife. And again... Feel free to write in the comments what you think, which version you think I got, and I might get something else out to, to, to show you. But here it is, guys. This is the Model 1934 in Ghost Green, Jade G10, 
And I bet you guys can figure out. I'm going to set this right here for a second. I'm going to open something up up here. I should have been prepared for this, but of course, I've been working baseball all day, so my brain's not in the right place. So, that may end up looking a bit like this. Uh, Knives Fast Blue, also known as uh, Kentucky Sky. Let's see if I've got it sitting over here. I do. I've still got half a bottle sitting here, so Kentucky Sky uh, Rit Dye will happen to that knife very soon. And uh, there you go. So, let's give it a flip. Uh, let's see what we've got here. You guys ready for this? You got, of course, you got your Loom logo. You got awesome transitions between the scales and the bolsters. You got this great clip. All right, you ready, guys? Oh, yeah. All right, so super thin stock on this blade. Oh, I love that blade. And look at that hand satin, guys. Whoo! Nelly. Uh, now, this one is 154 cm, uh, which pretty much everything except um, I think the run, the original Runtley. If I rem no, 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 the uh, not the Runtley, the um, the Cimarron, and then the uh, the Chernobyl Ant have been 14 c, I believe. But this is 154. Now, let's just give you that comparison again. You're gonna see this in Knives Fast Blue very, very soon, so you might as well see them together. And that is the 1929 and the 1934. Um, very, very awesome. Look at that, guys. Those would be a great primary and secondary carry together. Let's see how she is in the hand. Yeah, it's a four-finger knife for me, guys. Look at that. Uh, nice spot. And again, you can choke up on that flipper choil here. You got plenty of room to do that. Uh, may even be a little longer than usual, but there's... Plenty of room there. Really, really love that. And man, what a knife this is. Uh, this will be a primary for me. This is a, a great size here. I'll do it in my left hand here. Great size knife. Uh, really, really dig. And man, just look at that blade. Oh, goodness gracious. I just love this thing. Uh, now, I'm just curious if I can do something else. Now, there's not a nail nick on the opposite, on the right, on the opposite side. So for you lefties, you can uh, middle finger flick that. But I'm just curious if I can get the blade and do it. Nope. Now nah, there's just nowhere for me. It's because it's a flat grind all the way up. Uh, it's a full flat grind, so there's nowhere for me to real grab it on the uh, on the opposite side there. But it's all good because this is a great great flipper. Now guys, I don't know exactly when these will be hitting dealers, so be watching my channel because Spencer will let me know when they're headed out. Uh, and I will put uh, on there when these are hitting dealers so you know. But I bet you it's in the next couple of weeks. That's usually about what happens when he sends one to me. It's usually about a week, a little, a week or maybe a little more away before they hit dealers. So, uh, wow. Just very excited about this one, guys. Spencer, you are the man for sending this along. And Steve, thank you guys for all the the, the chances that uh, you've sent these along and let me show them to the viewers. And again, this one will be Knives Fast Blue very, very soon. So thank you guys so much. I'm going to lay this one here so you can see everything. Thank you, Coprolite Steve, uh, for sending. Did I say that up front? Uh, did I say Coprolite Steve? I hope I didn't. Didn't say something else. Uh, no, not Coprolite Steve. Tim B. See, I knew that's why it was sounding funny. Sorry about that, Tim B. I know it was Tim B. Coprolite Steve just got some his knives back today, and that's why I was thinking that. Tim B for sending this awesome guy uh, this really sweet, uh, awesome uh, uh, river, what do they call it, river rat, and then this great uh, Uncle Henry with the Stagalon, and then this Shrade uh, kind of pocket survival, what do they call it here? Uh, survival pocket knife. Really, really cool. So we will be, guys, these are going to be giveaways. Uh, most likely all this stuff will be given away. And then Finch also sent this great, great. Uh, if you haven't checked these out, guys, go check them out on their website. I believe, I can't remember the price, but they're very, very reasonable, just like their hats and shirts and everything else are. So make sure you check that out. And guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. Give me a thumbs up if you like this very long video for me. Uh, let me know what you think of each and everything here in the comments. And hopefully you already left some comments about your guesses. And uh, guys, thank you ever so much for all your support and all the fun and all just all the viewers and how much 
you mean uh, to this channel. It's just absolutely phenomenal. So thank you guys for all you do and for watching the Knives Fast channel.